Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's continue learning statistics using the R programming language. Our lesson for today is about loading a CSV file from the internet, okay? And let's use that data and learn statistics from there, okay? So first, we, can, we need to go to this. We're going to look at this CSV file, search, go to your internet, web browser, and look for empty cars that CSV okay then it will show you some options where you can get it you can get it via github or Google Drive or something so I would like you to just go here to github okay and this is the data okay so you just need to download this zip file and extract it in your computer okay so afterwards we're going to load it in our studio okay so let's go ahead and go to our studio okay here in our studio in this lower call lower left column or quadrant this is your console our console okay so you can load the data here or you can make a script here so you, you need to take note where you put in the data the CSV file in my case I put my CSV file here in this directory okay and I issued a list command in Linux so here is my empty cars at CSV file okay if I'm going to load it in R so I just need to copy this one copy okay and put it here okay let's try it here first so let's say I'm going to put in the table in a variable called my table and put in the arrow left arrow key slash dash or minus sign and then we issue a command read that see here CSV CSV okay and we click on that and we issue here the file the file is the place where you put in the link of the file so we paste here okay but first we need to put in the like that one quotation mark and then we need to put in the backspace we need to put in the file name so empty cars CSV okay next we're going to create here the sum of the parameters header is equal to true and the separation so it's comma separated values so we're going to let's put here in comma okay and afterwards the close parenthesis and click enter okay there's an expected unexpected like that here here okay fine so let's just click here here CSV uh, read that CSV okay you see here the separation and here's the column okay I think that we done it everything we done is okay it's fine so let's try this again okay separation okay we delete this okay that's it so it's just a extra column there so if we're going to read it you just put in type in my table and press enter so we already load it here Then we're going to put it here in a notebook. You can put a script here, like a new script like this. So, okay, file, new file, new R script or new R notebook. So we're going to use the R notebook again. Okay, here, here it is again. Blah blah blah. So you you go here in this. Insert some data here. So you see here you see insert some new code code chunk here so let's put it here so let's say my table the 
issue the command before okay and read that CSV and click in these opening quotation mark and paste in the file and then you put here the file name empty cars CSV you put here header is equal to true and then separation is equal to okay quotation marks uh, comma okay so let's save this one first save save to I'm going to save it in my R my files okay I'm going to put a lecture cedar tree okay save it okay it's already saved and then let's try to run this one by executing this command run all chunks okay done there's no error and it's preview it save it and it's preview it okay so it's executed so next we need to sh look at it so we just put in here my table to show it run again run all okay it shows it here and click preview okay so when you issue this command here and then you print out the table you just issue a table and it will show you the table here and as you can see here in this uh, HTML file if you click on here it will continue printing all those lists continuously okay next okay previews so that is how you load it then then might as well uh, let's plot this what is inside here and let's do some plotting okay so either we insert new code here below we insert new code R chunk okay here R chunk and then we plot issue plot and let's put it my table okay and let's run this chunk run chunks run current chunk okay voila it's here now okay so click and preview again okay now the purpose of this R markdown is that you can put here some uh, some wordings that you want when you're generating some report okay and you can put it here or you how you interpret the data so you can put it here and you can also put here some this is a title and some headings okay so if you want to modify this let's modify this our notebook let's let's put it here it's a title of our file or uh, my first loading of CSV okay and I'm going to put, put here some section sharp sharp this is pound pound actually and put here uh, loading CSV okay and another one here you can put here plotting the loaded table save it and then we preview it okay loading CSV here so it's already been highlighted section and plotting the loaded table so that's it okay that is for that is for today hope you like this video so click the subscribe button and see you in my next video okay thank you bye